before and I just put the boss on the end. Oh, okay. Boss. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna- check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Walk on. Hey, man, I'm just chilling, man. Hey, man. We out over here in Los Angeles, man. It's going down, man. Hey, man, we got my boy in here, man. Foreign bosses in the building. What's going on, man? Man, everything good, man. I can't complain. Wow, man. So, hey, man, just, hey, this thing going down, man, off, off Boss Talk 101. Just let us know a little bit about yourself, your background, a little bit of how you got into music and who you are, you know? Okay, I'm Foreign Boss. I'm from South Central Los Angeles. Uh, I've been out here all my life, born and raised, you know. Uh, I got into music just uh, loving it. Um, I woke up one day and uh, I was just freestyling with my homeboy uh, in the house. And he like, man, bro, you really can rap. He like, he like, man, let's go buy the studio equipment. So mm-hmm. we went to Guitar Center and I just bought all that shit and set wow. it up in the living room. And there we go. And how old were you at that time? I was uh, about 21. So you started late. Yep. Wow. So as, as a younger kid... Were you at home ever trying to rap or do anything I like was. that? I was. I was in high school rapping freestyle on my homeboys every day. But it, um, I fell in love with the money first. Mm. So I was getting to the bag first. And I knew all the rappers in L.A., you know, because I was in the club popping bottles with them. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I wasn't rapping. And then I seen everybody rap. I'm like, man, I can do it. Like, and then I always loved music, you know, so we got to it. Oh, okay, okay. I fell in love with it. Wow, so so South Central, man. How to survive in South Central? I keep thinking about that every time. Right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, who, who impacted you the most coming into the music? Was it Ice Cube? Was it uh, Ice-T? Was it uh, Snoop Dogg? Was it uh, Nate Dogg? Who was it? All of them. Already. Everybody you named, I, I listened to. Can't forget E-40. E-40? He from the Bay. Yeah, you know, it's all Cali, but that's what's called. What about Too Short? Stop what? playing. Too Short, stop playing. You can't yeah. even get in where you fit in, fool. You was a uh, markup at the high school. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? That was that old school right there, man. Right, cocktails. I yeah, know, yeah. Like, Ooh, real, real. that boy hit it. Yeah, my pops really was into this music. DJ Quick, too. Oh, man, DJ Quick with beast. I've been trying to get a hold of that nigga. Uh, my partner's been trying. I want that nigga on my show. I've been trying to figure it out. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, he hard. My homeboy, um... My homeboy Pops um, is a uh, player ham. My homeboy's the Young Giants. Shout out to Young Giants. They grew up with me on my block. They rap too, though. They dope. Oh, man. That's dope, man. So coming up in South Central, man, uh, I know I, I, and I asked this question to everybody, man, because of what happened with Nip, man. Uh, um, you, um, how did that change the, the, the tempo in, in, when it comes to the music and when it comes to how people are moving in, in L.A. when it happened? A nip death did change a lot of things. You could you could feel like the cloud over the city. You could feel it. When he died, it was a shock. I was in shock. I'm like, what? Somebody shot Nip? It was just crazy, you know? Wow. Yeah. It felt like he was on the move to do something great? Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so how much how, how much um because you guys had some some artists that, that they, they, a lot of uh, gang violence has went on up in here, man. And right. and and because I thought it had slowed down, but when I seen that, it was a lot of people alluding to the fact that he was in the gang violence and all this stuff. Um, uh, is it still going down like that in this day and time? Gang violence the way it was back then. It is. Okay. So is, is, is it done in a different way? Is it is, are, are people moving differently when it comes down to it? Is it by the color, a block? Uh, is it? Cause I'm a, I'm a Texas nigga, man. Okay, it's deeper than just blocks and colors. That's what a lot of people get confused about L.A. It's generational. Wow. You know, it, your, your dad can be from over here, and then you, then your brother, your sister, your mama. You know, everybody can be from the gang, and you just be born in it. And it's wow. like, and your mama, and you come from two gang members. It's like, you know, of course, it, it'll be somebody that go to college and all that, but the other three may just be fully into it. But then you got one brother like, I ain't doing that. You right. know, it just be like that out here. But the the violence is it's real in L.A. You can't get confused with the palm trees and the nice stuff because, you know, you can hit a block and it just it go down. But 
as long as you stay in your lane and don't do too much, stay out of people's business, I feel like you'll be all right. Wow. So being in being um, uh, man, Crenshaw. Well, I mean, back in the day, you heard movies about Crenshaw, man. So, I mean, even on that Boys in the Hood movie, you probably, I don't know if you've seen it or not. Of course. But, but they standing on the block, you know what I mean? The cars come through, boom, 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 boom. You niggas were known for for hydraulics and stuff like that. Is that something, a thing still, or they don't mess with it no more like that? They still do it. You gonna come out, you can go outside on Sunday, fun day. You know, Western Crenshaw, the east side. The street races. If you outside, you know, you'll see the old schools on Sunday for sure. Mm-hmm. Wow. They it go down like that. They go down. They gonna have you know, it's it's um it's that generation though, like like probably like my older brother age, like not a lot of young dudes got low lows. But if mm-hmm. they do, they just bossed up, they got bread, but wow. Like it's really um the older gen I would say like um forty. Yeah, I seen them older. My yeah. wife pointed them out to me when we first got here. She like, look at that. It was like a line. I'm just coming down. I said, mm-hmm. look at them yeah. boys getting to it. The car club's going to always go up with the cars because my pop's in the um, car club. He in a black classic car club. But they they got real old school. 1956 Ford mm-hmm. pickup trucks. Wow. Chevy Bel Air, Chevelles, Camaro. So what do these young kids be doing? Oh, we ride. You know, we ride fat. You know, they like foreigns. Some of them in the old schools. I'm in the old schools. Yeah, but you were you, your name for it. I was just about yeah. to say something, man. Oh, Where yeah, did that know? name come from? Oh, you know, my sister gave me this because I was just wearing fly shit, you know, oh, Versace, yeah, yeah. Gucci, and all that. Yeah. So my brother, was, I mean, my sister was like, "Oh, bro, you foreign." So I just <laughs> took it, took it around with him. You know, we we got a foreign whip outside too. So Ooh. you know, it's regular. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's regular, but it's foreign, nigga. Yeah, stop playing. So stop playing. coming up uh, out here, you know, most people look at you guys from the from the from like Dallas and Texas. A lot of them look at you like, hey man, you know, are you, you know, you know, do you have to be in a gang when you're out here, or do you, or is it a way to move to where you don't have to be? And do they jump you in the gang? Do you even know about the gang stuff going on in L.A.? Yeah, you don't you don't have to be a game banger if you don't want to. You can, you can you can Doesn't it depend on where you're from, like what part of the city cuz if you're born in a certain area where that's prevalent, isn't that just something that you have to do? You don't have to do. You can be the dude that just speak to them every day. Show respect, don't do too much. Like how oh, how you doing? There's plenty of people that grow up and They don't force you. It can be uh I won't say if you hanging every day and you around them like, say, for instance, you just doing the high and buy thing. Like, oh, what's up? But if you every day, you drinking, you smoking with them, you hanging, and it's going to, yeah, they're going to they gonna test you. Like, oh, man, you want to be from the hood? Like, you want to get put on? And it's up to you to say yes or no. But sometimes they just do people bad, you know, and whoop on you and put you on. But it's kind of like you was asking for it. You was hanging too much. You need to. What about the foreign boss? How did you come up and how did you uh, respond to everything that was in your neighborhood? Uh, I grew up in, I grew up, you know, my family, I come from, like, gang culture, you know, my family is gang members, so it's kind of like I wasn't forced into nothing. It was a choice. I kind of like, you know, I feel like I I broke the cycle with a lot of things, you know, I went to school, I, um, I went to Cal State Northridge, graduated, you know, I was in the streets, I, ain't, you know, I, I dibbled and dabbled, but, you know, I always had my pops, my pops was always a strong influence um, in my life and um, he from the project so it kind of was like I was already tough Mm -hmm. and my cousins is already I grew up around real thugs so it's kind of like I know who's soft and who ain't I could see through the bullshit you Mm. said real thugs so you have a lot of fake thugs out here yeah of course (laughs) you know when the heat gonna come on they gonna tell you ain't even about that life, man. Just go to school or get a job. Just trying to represent, stuff yeah. all the signs and stuff, and that's it. And then when you get in that interrogation room, you tell them everybody. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't for you. Yeah, the so this ain't for everybody. When you, um, so uh, what about give me give me some on, on penthouse, man. Uh, what, what what was up with that gig? What that song? Oh, penthouse. Uh, it was just on some like like player stuff, you know. Um, just just telling them I'm at the top floor. I'm top tier. You know, five star hotel. You know, living a life that I, I already live. Wow. You know, a lot of people be rapping about it and really don't got the cars or got what they say. You know, what I be rapping about, it, I I really didn't done it and touched it and obtained it. So. So your rap, your rap is more about a lifestyle. Yeah, it's about the lifestyle that I'm living. Okay, is it also about the honeys as well? The honeys. Mm-hmm. I love women. <laughs> I love women, of course. 
Okay, so, because I'm just trying to see who do you cater the most to when you rap your songs? It depends. It depends what mood I'm in. I, I cater to the streets. I mm -hmm. cater to women. So, you know, I try to be diverse in my music. You know, I'm, I don't want to be boxed in one category. And the type of messages that you normally give, like all kind of messages you normally like to give in your music? Well, it depends on what mood I'm in. Mm -hmm. So if I'm, 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 I'm like, I like the club. So if I'm in my club mode, I'm going to turn you up. But if I'm in my politic mode where I want to spit some knowledge and, and tell you, say, for instance, something about Willie Lynch, I can go there too. So you're versatile because some yeah. people love to stick to club jumpers because that's what brings them the most views. Right. So I was just trying to see what do you normally like to do? Yeah, I like I like the, I like the party. I like to get it going. I like to make sure you know you turned up and fly. Okay, that's what I be on. Wow. Doing. So I'm I'm looking at your uh, uh, your, your album, um, uh, dope star. Yeah, dope star. What 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 what, what inspired this song? Uh, cause I'm fresh as fuck in a dope car. <laughs> uh, you know, um, basically, you know me hustling and shout out my boy OFB Young. Um, he was a part of he a part of College Swag District. Uh, teach me how to Dougie. I'm trying that. to get this dude on my show. Oh, young. Yeah, that's what's one of my main things. I've been trying to call everybody. I'm like, get this dude on my show. I need to talk to him. Oh, that's easy call. I can call my boy. That ain't nothing. He probably he on his way back from Dubai. Shout out, young. Oh man, that boy kicking it. Yeah, he. So he I, maybe back. next time when I come up. Oh yeah, it can go down. I can go down. That ain't number the phone call. I, That's all right, my next boy, time, boy. man, set it up. Boss Talk you. want that boy to be on here, cause you. you know I'm in Dallas. They always talking about the song and how they felt like he took the song from there to here. And I want to hear, you know, just hear a spill Inside on it. of the story. Yeah, it's an old story now, but I'd love to hear it. You know. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. shout out old B Young. That's my boy. Yeah, yeah. I, I got you. I will get you that. Yeah, connect. man. Um, so um, you and him, <clears throat> you and him, pretty much put that together. That dope stuff. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Um, what about uh, Dirty Dance? Dirty Dance. That's for the strip club. Oh yeah, go hard. Yeah. It's yeah. A, shout out. You know that. I think DG's are, um inspired. What? That. Come on, you man. Been, you in the D? Yeah, I'd have been in the D. I, I'm really <laughs> outside. Yeah. DG's inspired that. Shout out DG. Oh uh, man, that boy be all in DG's, man. Yeah. This boy be traveling. Yeah, yeah, I'm really outside. Shout out DG's, man. Yeah. Um, so um, I want to ask you about one more. Uh, uh, that. Um, it was one about not go to work, take her home, featuring it was it noise. Oh, shout out, shout out my boy No, and my boy Noise. Yeah, he produced, he produced, sing, right? He do it all. Yeah, yeah. he did the beat. Uh, that's just taking her home. You know, she looking so bad. I'm gonna take her home. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. I, I like the way you you so, and I, I love the fact that you got a body of work. Like a lot of guys don't have no deep catalog, or they only have a whole project like that. You know, it's crazy, yeah. but. You know, it's, it's really happening like that. You got niggas that make a few songs and think they own or just make consistent songs and think they own and try to push, you know, the visuals more than anything. Right. You know, but you really doing a whole project and doing it the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah, I got the new project coming, dropping soon. I, I am to Foreign ask. Boss too. When yeah. is that coming out? Uh, September. Okay. Wow. I'm going to drop it. Second. So you're going to send you going to send us the preview? Oh yeah. yeah I'm going to yeah. be in you Dallas got, soon too. When you're going to so you're going to come on the show in Dallas? Yeah, of course. I'm already. Anybody coming to Boss Talk 101 and going to come up in the store and see how it really goes down. Right. Yeah, it go down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ye
Snoop. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out Snoop Dogg, man. He the king of the coast. Come on, man. And everybody know it, Stop man. Playing. Everybody know it, man. Yeah. Like, like, and he, and he, and he done help so much, man. Yeah. And people don't realize how heavy he is, man, because stuff that he do bring people together, man. Right. Even though he's smoking and all that, having fun, when people think of Snoop, he bridge gaps, man. Yeah. You know, he was a big influence on that thing that happened with Biggie and Pac, and people don't really give him his credit. Yeah. You know, he, he did that, man. I mean, and, and I seen it. You know what I'm saying? He was humble, and he was trying to find a way to bridge the gaps, too. And he had been through a lot, too, you know, so... I just like the way, and, and his bounce back, his resilience is something of a whole nother level, man. Right. That boy got to bounce back out this world. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't letting nothing affect him. He could have stopped rapping a long time ago, man. And he kept doing it. I think he do it for the culture. He do. Yeah. Real it's time. the love for it. He got the money. Yeah, yeah. He got it. Well, I say, I, he got to be doing it for the culture. Yeah, he do it for the culture. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So, um, when, you, when you first uh, started thinking about, okay, um, you know, I'm a traveling dude. Are you are you a dressy dude when you go to the club? Are you a, you, you know the designer thing might have just been a phase because you know, you're oh, a clubber. Get, yeah, I get fresh. You know, I, it's it's regular. Like you gonna go? You gonna go? Who, where you gonna shop at in L.A. when you want to get fresh? You going down the fashion district? Nah, you know I'm probably gonna go. You know I'm probably. Where you going it. over? What mall? I'm, I got Versace on right now. I'm probably Ooh. gonna. I'm probably gonna hit the Versace, Gucci, something like that. It depends what I'm. What mood Which I'm one? What, what Versace and Gucci? I'm not from out here. I get okay, to. Okay, you can hit the Beverly Center. You can hit Rodeo. You can hit Rodeo. Uh, I've been out there. Yeah, that thing's either nice. One. Either one. Rodeo. Uh, Rodeo gonna have it all. Uh, and the Beverly Center, if you want to go to the mall. Wow. Wow. That's crazy, man. So, um, how can people get a hold of you, man? Oh, okay. Well, if they want to reach out and, and uh, get 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 a hold of Foreign Boss, okay. My Instagram is I am underscore Foreign Boss. Um, Twitter Foreign Boss, Facebook Foreign Boss, Snapchat I am Foreign Boss. Um, you know my email is Foreign Boss at wow. Yahoo dot com. <laughs> Nigga, that go in. See, he you know, ain't playing no game. That boy working with a body. Make it easy. Yeah, if you want to find me, you know you can DM me. You can you can hit my boy uh, Monk um, on Instagram. He um, my manager. Oh yeah, Monk. Yeah, he Monk. You can hit um, Monk the King on Instagram. He'll get he'll get you um, in contact with me. Too. So who have you worked out here with? Like, I mean, where's Blueface at, man? Blueface. Oh, my cousin with him right now somewhere. I think I was uh, I was invited out. With my cousin from over there where he from. Yeah, from, he with him right now somewhere around. So around is he city. one of the? He's one of the hotter ones in the city right now. Yeah, he hot. My nephew hot too. Uh, Jay Heartless. Jay Heartless? Yeah, he hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. He coming. Uh, and he, how long he been doing music? He been doing it for... Um, I know who number to get now. I'm getting this nigga number. When I come yeah, back, nigga, yeah. all I got to do is call that nigga. It's I'm Mr. Going, HBO. Y'all done see me on down, Insecure? Y'all yeah. done see me on Insecure on HBO? No, you was on Insecure? Yeah, shout out Issa Rae. That's my homegirl. Man, see, yeah, yeah. He talking that talk. Y'all playing, yeah. nigga. Y'all Stop playing. Me? Yeah, yeah. I was Mr. Benected. That's me. The uh, the blood that start walking on uh, season two, episode one. Y'all go check it out. Already, that's what I'm talking about. So you ain't playing no game. I ain't playing no games. It's all man. All that's guys. how. That's how you. And, and and I love it, man. Because you come in with a demeanor like like you was here for the last interview. You seen the energy? It just shifts. I'm a different type dude every time. It's called know how the energy you feed to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm being real. It's crazy. I, I love doing this though. You know what I'm saying? I love I love to hear my brothers, man, that they get into it. They making things happen. And a lot of people, young dudes need to see that. Like we out here really being professional, getting at something, doing something that's gonna help generations to come. Right. And that's real what it's talk. about. It's about it's about the next generation. It ain't about me <coughs> or you. It's about feeding the youth. And how do you give back? Uh, how? I show I show these dudes how to be a daddy. That's uh -huh. what I give back. You see me on the Instagram taking my daughter to school, picking her up. You know, ABC one two three whatever it need, and um, you know, I do um nonprofits or you know, give back uh feed the feed the community. I done fed the community with one of my friends and they nonprofits and. That's the way it goes. Things of that nature, you know. That's good. Wow. You got anything else for my guy? No, sir. Say, man, check it, man. We appreciate you for coming on the show, man. We love you, bro. And like I said, anytime uh, I'm in town, I'm about it. Like I said, I'm locking in, which I got your number. Yeah. So I'm for the, I'm for the, every time I come, because I'm going to try to come back in February, and we're going to knock it out, man. I'm going to rock out with some of these guys. I want the inner city music, man. I be wanting to hear what's going on. I do actresses and entrepreneurs, too. But I, you know, I just be want to tap into the right people that when they say something behind these mics, it right. can change somebody's life. Yeah, I got the my my boy got a clothing line. Uh, my boy uh, 
Phil, uh, Shout out Phillips, Phil. yeah, uh, Black Clothing Line. You know, that's what I'm um, talking about. Yeah, so I'll be draped in that. So I, I'm one of the sponsors. So I need to, I need to get that. I need I need to talk with him. Yeah, I definitely it, can get an interview. Because the reason him. I say that is because I own a clothing store too in Texas. Right. So I could probably we could rock out. Yeah. As long as it's dope. Yes, and I know dope. you. I'm looking at you, man. You flies, guy. Flies can be. Yeah, man. I got a, it's it's a lifestyle. I, yeah, I was it's not on like me. This. It's in me, huh? Yeah, I was raised like this. My uh, mama got me like this already, man. Yeah. Well, man, thank you for so much for coming on the show, man. I appreciate y'all for having man, me. Man, it's been, been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.